Let's do some practice problems to find out which acid-base disorder we have when given ABG values. So I have a previous video teaching you about that. If you haven't seen that already, please go watch that before uh, doing these practice problems. But let's go ahead and get started. So the only two things you need from the ABG values are going to be pH and bicarbonate. So here we have our pH value. This is below our normal range of 7.35 to 7.45. So we're going to draw a down arrow there. Bicarbonate, normal values 22 to 26. This is below that. So both arrows going in the same direction. This is going to be metabolic. And is it acidosis or alkalosis? Looking at our pH, it's below the value, so it's going to be uh, acidosis. So this first example is an example of metabolic acidosis. Next here we have pH 7.45. This is above our normal range. Bicarbonate, this is normal. We don't have any uh, abnormal values here. Normal value is 22 to 26. These two arrows or these two directions are not in the same direction. So it's going to be respiratory. And then alkalosis or acidosis, well it's above our normal range, the pH, so it's alkalosis. Next example, we have pH 7.32. This is below our normal range. Bicarbonate, 22 to 26, this is above. These are going in opposite directions, not the same, so it's going to be respiratory. Acidosis from our pH being below the normal range. Next here we have 7.3 below and uh, bicarbonate also below. These two arrows, same direction, metabolic. And it is acidosis because of the pH is below the normal range. Once again, pH below, bicarbonate normal. These two are not going in the same direction, so this is respiratory. acidosis. And just as a reminder, this only works for simple acid-base disorders and not mixed acid-base disorders.